Hi everyone, it's Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm excited to be taking part in the Whimsy Stamps Spiders and Webs Video Hop and Giveaway. Each of us on the design team will be using the Spiders and Webs die set and I'll have more information about the giveaway a little bit later on in the video. The products that I'll be using include the Spiders and Webs die set as well as the Build an Ocean die set, the Twinkle Scribble Circle die, along with the Victorian Gothic Halloween Confetti Mix from This Calls for Confetti. My card is pretty quick and easy and simple to put together. I did all of the die cutting off camera in the interest of time since this is a hop. Speaking of which, the next person in the hop is linked down in the description box below for you, along with all of the products that I used and all of the information about the giveaway itself. Anyway, back to what I'm doing here is I had die cut the Twinkle Scribble Circle from a very light gray cardstock. And I did that just to have a base so that I could build my wreath more easily. Next, I die cut the little seaweed piece from the Build an Ocean die set from two shades of gray. I adhered the darker gray first, and once I had all of the darker gray seaweed adhered, I started to adhere the light gray seaweed. When I adhered the lighter gray seaweed, I made sure to offset it from the dark gray seaweed just to add an extra layer of dimension to the wreath. So while I finish this up, I'll go over the details of the giveaway to be entered to win a $100 gift certificate to the Whimsy Stamps shop. All you have to do is leave a comment on each stop in the hop and make sure you leave your comment no later than September 26th. The winner will be announced over on the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel on September 28th. So make sure you head back over there to see if you won the $100 gift certificate. Getting back to this creepy wreath. I wanted to have a web behind the wreath, so I die cut the larger web from white cardstock. I added a couple of dots of glue on the outer edges. I was kind of guessing on where I needed the glue just to adhere the wreath to the top of the web. Then I flipped it over and I added one more dot of glue underneath that strand there just to make sure that it was going to stick nicely to the wreath. To adhere my largest spider, I used a black foam square on the back just so that the top of his body didn't sink down because the web is set back a little bit further than the wreath itself. For the other spiders, I just used liquid glue to adhere those directly to the wreath. And then to bring in just a little punch of color, I dug through the Victorian Gothic Halloween mix by This Calls for Confetti and pulled out some red flowers and little black gemstones. I used liquid glue to adhere those to the wreath as well. After I adhered the first red flower, I found it easier to add the glue directly to the wreath and then place the flower on top of that, add another drop of glue in the center of the flower, and then add the gemstone on top of that. Once I had my wreath completely decorated, I set that aside to dry and started to work on the background. I wanted to have some sort of texture in the background, but I wanted it to be very subtle, so I decided to use the Farmhouse Shiplap background stamp. I inked it up with a very light gray ink, and I placed my cardstock on top of the stamp, and then I used a piece of scratch paper on top of that so I could rub really well to get a very good impression. After I stamped the background, I added just a little bit of shading using a tiny little finger dauber blending brush around the edges with the same gray ink. To adhere my wreath to the front of the card, I used black foam squares on the back of that and then placed it on my stamped panel. I adhered that panel to a piece of red cardstock that's cut just slightly larger than the background panel, which measures four by five and a quarter. And then I used my scissors to trim off the pieces of the webs that were hanging off the edge. Next, I adhered that to the front of a top folding A2 sized black note card. And to finish it up, I dug through my Victorian Gothic Halloween mix one more time and pulled out a couple of sparkly black sequins. I used my liquid glue to adhere those. And off camera, I used the You're My Boo stamp set and did some heat embossing on red cardstock and ran that piece through my die cut machine with the quick strips die set and then adhered my sentiment strip to the front of my card. And that's it. That finishes up my card for today.
Don't forget the next person in the hop is linked in the description box below. And remember to leave a comment to be entered to win a $100 gift certificate to the Whimsy Stamps shop. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, I'd love it if you would. And don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.